So this is a stethoscope. You might see it around the necks of doctors, but I'm gonna teach you how you can make one from stuff you might have around your house. Hello, my name is Henry and I am a second year medical student here at the ANU College of Health and Medicine. So a stethoscope is a very common medical instrument that you've probably seen around the necks of doctors and nurses, and it's used to listen to sounds inside the body. So that could be blood moving throughout your heart, air moving in and out of your lungs, or the sounds of your stomach digesting food. The first stethoscope was made over 200 years ago by Dr. René Lenac in France. But back then, it looked more like a large tube with a hole drilled through the middle. But today, the modern stethoscope is a bit more fancy. We've got a bell and a diaphragm here on the end, which amplifies the sound up the tubes and into the earpieces here so we can hear inside your body. So to make your stethoscope, you're going to need some equipment here. We've got this long piece of clear vinyl tubing. We've got a funnel, some tape, a balloon, this Y connector, and you'll also need some scissors. Okay, so to start, we're gonna take our clear vinyl tubing and we're gonna fold it in half and then cut directly down the center. We're gonna repeat this step again with one of the halves, so we're gonna make two smaller pieces. Okay, so you should have one large piece and two smaller pieces now. With the large piece, we're gonna connect one end to the end of the funnel here. We're just gonna cut some tape now as well so it's ready for when we attach the pieces of tubing. Okay, so now connecting the tube to the funnel here and we're just gonna attach it with some tape as well. Now with the other end of the long piece of tubing, we're gonna connect it to the Y connector here. Now we've got our two small pieces of tubing and these are gonna be our ear pieces. So connecting these to the other ends of the Y connector here. Okay, so our stethoscope is starting to take shape, but now we're gonna make the diaphragm which sits on the end of the funnel, um, which will amplify the sound a bit better. So to do this, we're gonna use our balloon here, and we're just gonna cut the end off the balloon and then stretch it across the funnel. And so now we've finished making our stethoscope here. We've got our earpieces, and they can go in your ears, the end, which is the diaphragm, and then you can hold that up to your heart and listen to inside your chest. Give it a go. <laughs> I can hear my heart. <laughs> So what actually makes up your heartbeat? So your heart is made up of four chambers and then these are connected to each other and also to some other vessels by four valves. The heartbeat is often described as a lub-dub pattern and so the first part, the lub, is made when two of these valves shut really fast against the blood moving through the heart. And then the second part, the dub sound, is made when the other two valves shut really fast as the blood is squeezed out of the heart. When using a stethoscope, doctors can hear really small changes to the lub-dub pattern, and this can tell us if blood is moving really fast or in the wrong direction through the heart, and that's what's called a heart murmur. Okay, so now it's your turn to try on your stethoscope and see what you can hear. 